Hey guys, so now we're going to add these rational expressions. So in order to add two fractions of any kind, even these ones with variables, you need a common denominator. So the common denominator here, well, we got to factor this first to find out. So this factors into x plus 2, x plus 3. And since this one has an x plus 3, we know the common denominator here is going to be x plus 2, x plus 3. So you want to multiply the top and bottom of this by x plus 2. And then they'll have a common denominator. So what does that equal? So this one, it's x squared minus 5x plus 2x minus 10 plus x plus 2 because of this x plus 2 right here. And then now since they have a common denominator, we can actually put them under the same fraction. So x squared is just brought down. So we have a negative 5x, a positive 2x, and a positive x. So that gives us negative 2x. And the negative 10 and the positive 2 is negative 8. And all that is over x plus 2, x plus 3. You'd want to factor this and see if they cancel. This does factor. So it's x minus 4, x plus 2 over x plus 2, x plus 3. So notice these x plus 2s cancel. So the final answer is x minus 4 over x plus 3. Now if you had stopped here, because it feels like it's safe to stop, but had you stopped here, you would have been wrong because it actually simplifies further. So you always want to factor everything as fully as you can. But now we're definitely done. So hope that made sense. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.